what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so I've been working on a few products here for a while now I think you guys will really enjoy I figured I'd make a video for you guys and show you exactly what we got going on here so we got you know most Toyotas have a stock hood prop which is so annoying you can see I got the Tacoma it's got that stock hood prop right there and half the time on like even the older trucks especially they're missing or it's got this little bushing in the uh, core support that is always missing and the things just flopping around it's honestly they're very annoying so I have come up with a solution for that we got some hood struts here we got the brackets we got everything right here and then another thing to accompany that is this now I'm super excited about this let's open this thing up I want to show you guys what this is so let's check it out guys this is a basically an under hood light kit and I actually make these myself these things are pretty sweet let me see if I can get it out with one hand and show you guys what we're working with very high quality this stuff is come on so high quality you can't even get it out of the bag but anyway this is the LED strip right here it's got 3m double-sided tape and the nice thing about that is you can mount this thing literally anywhere and it's super flexible and then it's got this nice harness I got a switch here that you can turn the light on and off and then it's got this other switch right in his bag here that you can mount. Um, so when you open your hood up, the light automatically comes on. If you're going to leave your hood open for a while, you just hit the switch, turn the light off, and you're done. So all that needs to happen is you hook this to your battery, and then the ground comes through this switch here. So when you open your hood, this will ground out, and you'll get the light to turn on. So what we're going to do, this uh, little switch here will mount actually in a factory hole in this Tacoma. So right here, there's a hole in the fender. Um, so that on mine it was, and I'm sure other trucks are different, but mine was a little bit misaligned. So I just took a 516 drill bit, drilled that out, which is honestly good because now we have bare metal in there for that to ground out on. And then we just run a harness right up here, up here, and then the light's gonna mount right up in there uh, it's gonna be super nice and then as far as those hood struts go those are very simple to to uh, bolt on i actually already went through and test fit them on here so i already have the holes drilled there's two holes we need to drill right up on the hood here and then the bottom brackets mount right in here so i'll show you guys that but first i think what i want to do is get that light installed so that we can see what we're doing when we go throw these hood struts on so let's grab this thing and get this installed now one tip i got for you guys if it's cold if it's not super warm out i would before you even take this double-sided tape off i would take a heat gun and just warm this thing up um, especially after packaging it's kind of you know kind of formed um, and it's just it's going to stick so much better when you actually heat this glue up this adhesive on the tape Now the cool thing about these under hood lights is I've made these things to be pretty universal. I've made the leads basically long enough to fit, I would say pretty much any Toyota, any smaller vehicle. I don't know if they would fit like a full size, you know, full size truck, but any smaller body car like these old Toyotas or the Ford Ranger, Mazda, anything like that, these are gonna fit no problem. Especially because all you need to do is stick the light on with the double sided tape and wire this thing into the battery. They're so simple to install and so universal. I'm not even gonna put like an interchange on these just because like I said, they're so universal. Now the hood struts are a different story the brackets are, are more specific for each vehicle so those are going to be vehicle specific i do have some for the first gen tacoma the third gen forerunner the second gen tacomas i'm working on some for the third gen tacomas and the earlier pickups but as of right now those kits aren't ready all right guys here's a test let's see if it works so i got the switch mounted here like i said this other switch for the hood mounted here i have a battery or all my power wire right here instead of going to the battery it would definitely reach here but mine just comes here and then it turns back around and comes back up here so like i said this thing is pretty universal but anyway switch is off right now turn the switch on and look at that that thing is sweet so just that light right there i mean brightens it up so much let's go off on and what i've noticed with these darker trucks with a dark engine bay it is so hard to get in here and work on this thing it's so hard to see and trying to set up a flashlight everywhere and just falling all over the place it's a pain in the butt this light 
is going to be a game changer and like i said you just you can leave the switch on and then when you close the hood that switch will open and you'll the light will go off so we'll see if we can see this so you can still see some light in there we'll close the hood and light is off so that thing is sweet guys i am so stoked with these things it's going to be a game changer like i said pop the hood and and light is on so now that we can see what we're doing let's get these uh, hood struts installed all right we're going to start with the lower struts here or the lower mounts these are just going to go there's this little ledge right here that's actually has like it's like triple wall so it's super thick super sturdy and you just basically take this bracket shove it all the way back so that it's all the way back against this wall here and against the bottom here that's going to give you the most strength so what we're going to mount these with are these super nice stainless steel self-tapping screws just because it is such a thick area right here these things work really good to mount these brackets on. I like to drill a pilot hole and I'm just gonna mark with a marker, pull the bracket off, drill our pilot hole. That way these don't have such a tough time going through all three layers of body material right there. And these are gonna hold it on really nice. There it is guys. Now another really cool thing about these struts is it lifts the hood way up higher. You can see there's the end of the prop rod. That's probably about six inches higher. So you get just a lot more room to work with and a lot more light coming in, not to mention the underhood light. I'm saying ambient light from outside coming into the engine bay with the hood up higher. Now let's close the hood and I'll show you how easy this thing is it closed like that and then when you want to open it it already pops up like you can see a lot of the hoods when you pop them they're way down this thing pops up here and you just grab the latch pop it open and it opens all by itself look at that so the truck is done for now let's grab the forerunner bring that in here and i'm going to do the same thing with the light and then both struts on the forerunner as well Well, there we go. We got this forerunner all buttoned up. So this one's a little bit different with the lower brackets. Actually, there's a nice threaded hole on either side that is in the same spot that I was able to use. So I just put a stud in there and then the brackets up top on the hood. We are good to go. Light is wired in, working like a champ. So this hood works perfect. So you close it like that and before the hinges were a little bit sticky and when you pop the hood on the inside it didn't pop up and you had to kind of squeeze your fingers in there now i want to show you to show you guys this real quick when i pop the hood look at that 
it pops all the way up like I said on the Tacoma and it same thing raises all the way up perfectly so I am stoked with that one the next kit I've put together is for this Toyota Hilux now this should fit 72 to 78 I haven't had a chance to to check the fitment on 79 to 83 they do look very very similar anyway let's get this thing on so we got the hood struts here and just like the other kits we got an upper bracket and a lower bracket for each side also we're going to go ahead and throw the underhood light kit on this truck as well. Might as well do the full meal deal. So this kit's really easy. The lower mount is super simple. You just pull out the bolt on the fender, the second one from the back, and that's where we're gonna bolt this lower mount through. So the easiest way I found to do this is to get the lower bracket bolted in, get the strut on, and either do it yourself or have a helper hold the hood up basically as far as it will go and then you'll get your upper bracket you'll get it on to the strut you'll just get the upper bracket in place and simply just mark the holes that need to be drilled in and then you'll drill the holes and get these rivets installed Well, that's it guys we got these struts on the 14 Tacoma that was my mother-in-law's those turned out really good as well so if you guys are interested in any of these strut kits or the lights I have everything up on the website avrcustoms.com now I do have them separate and then I do have kits available where you have the struts and the lights for a little bit of a discount there if you buy both so definitely go check them out if you guys are in the market also like I said I am working on other kits for different vehicles for different Toyotas I'm mainly sticking with Toyota I could branch out and do all of them but i don't know i'm a toyota guy i think i'm just gonna stick with toyotas for now at least anyway guys i hope you enjoyed it why don't you go smash that thumbs up button we'll catch you in the next one